Good morning, everybody. Um, we miss you upstairs as always, and hopefully here in the next couple weeks, we will be able to see everybody again. Um, for all the kids watching, do you know what special day it is today? Hopefully you do. It is Mother's Day. So today we have a story and a lesson all about moms because today is all about moms. Um, so this story that we're going to read is from the book of Ruth. It is a story about um, Naomi and her daughter-in-law, Ruth. Um, it's a story about motherly love. And we have Sonia here. She's going to read it for everybody. Um, she will hopefully be taking over my position as the children's ministry coordinator eventually. Um, so we'll go ahead and we will read the story of Ruth and Naomi. Wait for me, Ruth begged her mother-in-law, Naomi. I'll go with you. Your God will be my God, and I will never leave you. Ruth was as beautiful on the inside as she was on the outside. Her husband and his brother, Naomi's sons, had died. Naomi's husband had died, too. So Naomi decided to go back to where she used to live. Ruth would not let her go alone. So the two women traveled many miles to Bethlehem, Naomi's homeland. When they got there, Ruth and Naomi were too poor to buy food. They lived on leftover grain that Ruth found in fields that belonged to Naomi's wealth wealthy relative, a man named Boaz. When Boaz saw Ruth grain, gathering grain, he invited her to lunch. It's wonderful that you were so kind to Naomi, Boaz said. May God repay you for your kindness. Before Ruth left, Boaz made sure she had plenty of food to share with Naomi. All right, so in that story, we hear about Ruth, who was married to one of Naomi's sons. Um, Naomi's husband had passed away, and then Ruth's husband had also passed away. And Ruth had the chance to leave Naomi and go back to her family, but Naomi had been such a mother to her, even though she wasn't her real mother, she still showed that motherly love, which is that selfless love always making, watching out for her. Ruth always wanting to take care of her and make sure, you know, that she had everything that she needed. So when Naomi's husband had passed and when her sons, Ruth is, Ruth's husband had passed, Ruth could have left her, but she was like, this woman has loved me, has shown me this love, has been a mom to me. I cannot leave her. So what does Ruth do? She stays with Naomi. She helps take care of her, provide for her, to also to show that love and appreciation to Naomi because Naomi had always been a mother, a mother to her, and she wanted to show that selfless love um, to Naomi as well because that's what mothers do, right? They're selflessly loving us every single day, even on the days that they might get a little upset with you. They still love you, and they will always love you because that's what mothers do. Think about all of the things that moms do for us, um, you know, whether it's cooking dinner or breakfast or lunch or reading or playing with you, putting together puzzles, doing crafts, um, going outside on walks with you, listening to music, you know, maybe your mom even tucks you in at night. Um, you know, from the time they get up to the time they go to bed, moms are loving you guys um, so selflessly because you're their children. So today on Mother's Day, we always just like to, we should be appreciating them every single day, boys and girls. So it's not just today, but today is just the day that we like to really recognize all of the love and the hard work that mothers do. So hopefully by now you've said Happy Mother's Day to your mother, or you told her that you loved her. If you haven't, please go ahead and tell your mother Happy Mother's Day and how much you love her. And if you have already done these things, go ahead and tell her again, because mothers can never hear I love you enough. They will never be tired of hearing it. They will never be tired of you hugging them and telling them how much you love them. Um, so especially today, but even after today, make sure that you are telling your mom how much you love her and appreciate her. And, you know, even though we might be stuck inside, you know, it's not about gifts. You don't have to always get your mother something. Maybe it's just something really simple, like helping set the table for dinner or helping to fold laundry or picking up your toys without being asked, um, you know, just those little things to help your mom out because they do so much for you guys. 
So I hope today you take the time, boys and girls, to love your mother a little bit extra and maybe just be a little bit on your best behavior, a little bit more on your best behavior today um, than you would any other day. Just And let your mothers know how much you love them and hug them and kiss them and um, maybe go outside, get some fresh air and just really take this day to um, enjoy your mom and just show her how much you appreciate her. Um, if you, after the um, lesson today, if you want, go over to the Aviana Baptist Church Facebook page. There we have uploaded a video of a craft that you can do for your mother and keeping up with um, how much you love her and how much you want to show that to her. Um, it is a craft revolved around that. Um, it's really simple and things that you can do at home uh, with items that you have at home. So hopefully you will go and you will look at it and you will make it and you will make your mother smile by making it. Um, we hope that everybody has a wonderful Mother's Day and to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. I'm sorry we can't say it in person um, in church, but happy Mother's Day. You guys are such hard workers and you know you guys are just so amazing in everything that you do every day. So happy Mother's Day and we will see you guys next week.